Welcome back everybody. I'm Tassie with Tassie Eats and today I'm having Firebox Deli. Firebox Deli, you guys have been requesting. I actually do a review on them. I've never had them before. They are a barbecue joint here in the Twin Cities and they're located right on the edge of North Minneapolis. It's like a really quiet area right on the border or the cusp of going into Brooklyn Park, uh, Brooklyn Center and it's right off of like 94 and 49th. And then in the description, I'm also going to list their address and everything like that so you guys can check them out. So I've heard a lot about Firebox Deli, not just from you guys, but you know, like since they've opened, I've always he heard people talk about them. So then now I'm finally trying them out and you guys will not believe it. So it's among people who actually own the joint and I read some of the reviews online and people were very, very impressed with the food. So I was really excited. I am impressed by their prices. Their prices is insanely cheap. Like, you know, I did a review, I didn't do a review, but I did a video of me eating at Famous Dave's. It was like pretty expensive. It was like uh, over 40 bucks at Famous Dave's. And this is insane because they actually have sticky rice there, you guys, and pepper, like Thai style, kind of Asian pepper. They even have egg rolls there. But the star of their show, it is their beef brisket. So I had to get the beef brisket. Their mac and cheese is supposed to be really, really good. And they their rib tips. So this is pork rib tips. And this here, everything, I paid around $22 after tax and everything, you guys. And I ordered two orders of sticky rice. So I think I'm more excited that there's rice and pepper that comes with this meal. There's also barbecue sauce here. And then they also give you some toast as well with your meal so this is like their combo one where you can choose your meats and so I chose two of my meats and it comes with the bread and I ordered the mac and cheese on the side and the sticky rice so let's go ahead and get started now I want to try out the mac and cheese that is super cheesy you guys this is really good the mac and cheese is really good There's a little bit of black pepper in here too and it's really really creamy and that super thick layer of cheese okay I can see why their mac and cheese is really popular mmm <laughs> and it's so cute how it's in like this muffin tin I've actually, I went to go get it right after work and it's actually been about an hour and a half since I've had the food. You guys, it's been an hour and a half and this is super creamy still. Because <laughs> you know like mac and cheese when it gets kind of cold and older, it, it's not this creamy. I mean, mmm. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. So you guys know I love spicy. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some ghost pepper flakes on here. Cause I love things that are spicy. Mmm. I am really, I keep looking at my rice though. <laughs> One of my viewers <laughs> told me that he, he knew I was Hmong because of how much rice I eat. <laughs> You guys don't understand, my love is rice, like white rice, I love white rice. You know how people like fried rice? I love white rice. And uh, sticky rice, I, I love even more. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sometimes the mac and cheese is not salty enough, or there's not enough flavor, this is awesome. There is a ton of flavor in the mac and cheese, and it's so creamy. This is ridiculous. And the whole hour and a half, I had something to do <laughs> before I could film. So it's not like it was an hour and a half for me to come back home from the actual restaurant. Mm. Okay. I gotta focus on other foods. <laughs> Alright, I wanna try the rib tips. And I do love to eat rib tips. Mmm. These are sweet.
Mm. It's so soft and it's tender. I'm gonna try the pepper. Is that orange? <laughs> there's a citrus in here. I can't tell if it's orange, but um, there's actually an Asian pepper, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, you guys. It's called like Jiang Bao or, or something like that. I'm not even gonna try it again because I'm just gonna keep saying Jiang Bao. <laughs> but it's like that pepper. I don't know how to make this one because I've actually never made it. Ooh, it's got a nice little kick to it. But you can taste like, is it tomato in here? I think it's orange that they put in here. But it's not like um, on my channel I have where I actually show where I make like a red or and like a green and cilantro-y fish sauce-y kind of Thai pepper. So this is not like that, it's a bit different. But this pepper here, it goes amazing with sticky rice and with barbecue kind of meats. That's good. Mm hmm Okay, I need to try out this beef brisket, you guys. Look at this. And I think like they, <clears throat> I'm not a, a barbecuing person, you guys. I'm not gonna know a lot of this. But I read that they cook it for like 12 to 16 hours and it's so tender. Look at that. Mm. And you guys know I love beef, okay? <laughs> that smokiness, it melts in your mouth. It's juicy and look at how dark that outside was. Like, you guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I need some sticky rice. And this is like really sticky. I might have to use my fingers. <laughs> I don't know how I have not been to Firebox Deli yet. Like this, <laughs> this is ridiculously good, you guys. Their brisket is amazing. Mmm. It's so tender. They gave me barbecue sauce, but I don't really know if I want to try it. Hey, look at this. Oh my god. I mean, even the slices here, they're so thick. And this pepper here is spicy. <laughs> Mm, mm mm. But it's like a really good kind of kick. Mm. Oh my god. It's just like Mm. They are really, really well priced. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get like a, just a slab of the beef brisket with a ton of sticky rice and pepper. <laughs> they do have other things on their menu as well. So they do have like the full ribs.
and I've got like four thick pieces of the beef brisket. It's like five ounces of each if you do like the combo or else if you just order the dinner menu of just one item, it's 10 ounces. Oh my God. Mm, mm -mm. It's like not dry. Like how do they do it so it's not dry? Mm hmm. Mm. It's buttery goodness. <laughs> buttery goodness. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the barbecue sauce. Um, the lady who actually helped me, she said that this is kind of like a sweet sauce. Mm-hmm. That's sweet. <coughs> it's good, though. It's like tangy, good barbecue sauce, but it is on the sweeter end. Mm. It's good still. All right, highly recommend Firebox Deli now. Like, I'm a believer now, now that I've had it. It's like, I've seen it all over Facebook. I've seen, I have my own friends, they've talked about it a lot. And I just never went. They are ridiculously well-priced. Especially for the quality of the food. Mmm. I like don't know what to eat. I want to eat everything. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. This is like food where you're gonna have like a coma. <laughs> and you're totally gonna overindulge eating this. So it's definitely a Thai pepper in here. I think there's tomato in here. And I can taste and see the cilantro. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong for anybody who's ever had this pepper here from Firebox Deli. Is there orange in here? I keep tasting like a hint of oranges. Normally we use um, lime. And this is water. And you guys should know I don't like to touch my glasses with dirty hands, which is why I have a napkin around it. Mm. I love rib tips because of the smaller bones. Look at the end here is kind of big, but when they have like the really small bones, you can chew on it and eat it. Mm-hmm. I'm a cartilage kind of person though. So if you don't like to do that, you're not gonna like this. And I had a friend who had to teach me how to eat it. When I first found out that people were eating the little bones, I was like, that's a bone, I don't think you should eat that. But what happened was, I'm easily influenced when I see people eat. So I kept watching them eat the bones and they made it seem like it was so good. And then I forced myself to keep doing it even though it hurt my teeth at first until I learned how to eat it.
See that little bone there? That was good. And you, they have party sizes of everything too. So in Minnesota, we do have a few other barbecue joints like Big Daddy's, there's Hickory Hut. There's also um, Barbecue Rack Shack or something like that. Oh, it's just Rack Shack. This is better than all of those, you guys. And it's a lot cheaper too. I've been to all of those places. Uh, what I do love though about like Big Daddy's and everything, they have beef ribs and there is nothing that I love more than beef ribs so like we have this restaurant here called Foco de Chon and they're also around the U.S. too it's basically like a Brazilian meat buffet place that you go to I save my stomach only for the beef ribs whenever I go I'll even ask for the bone <laughs> no shame <laughs> for my birthday I took photos of it when I went uh, my boyfriend took me there and I asked for bones and they gave me three bones <laughs> because I was like, I wouldn't eat anything else besides bread and their mozzarella, the fresh mozzarella. I ate a lot of that. But um, they gave me their bones and this the waitress came around and she wasn't a regular waitress, but she was just kind of like busting the tables. And she came around and she touched my plate and said, are you done? And she started pulling it towards her. I totally freaked out, you guys. That's how bad I am when it comes to food. I was like, no! I was like, don't take my food. And Fogo de Chon, they are like a nicer restaurant. And she literally just like freaked out and just like kept staring at me. And I was like, no, I'm not done yet. Uh-huh. And then when I had to go run to the restroom, like I was afraid that my boyfriend was going to get up and go to the salad bar and they were going to take my plate of bones away because I wasn't done eating. I was like eating and gnawing around the bones still. <laughs> so I kept like telling him like, you can't leave. Like you need to watch my plate in case they try to take my bones again. <laughs> In the end, I didn't trust him, so I I went and like told all of the waiters who were walking around me, make sure no one takes my plate of bones. <laughs> they all assured me that nobody would take my plate of bones, and then I went. <laughs> it's like I only went there for the beef ribs, so I do really love you know like beef ribs. Now you know. <laughs> so I love the beef brisket. But I'm always iffy about beef brisket because a lot of times they come out really dry and they're not that great in tasting and flavor. Hickory Hut though, I mean not Hickory Hut, Big Daddy's in St. Paul. Their beef ribs are hit or miss, honestly. When they first opened, their beef ribs were amazing. And then as time went on, they became really, really dry to the point where it's just mostly bone. There's not a lot of meat on there. They kind of like cheaped out that way. And sometimes the smokiness, it was so strong. Like you felt nauseous after your meal because all you could taste everywhere was just and smell was a smokiness. It was just a bit too much. Mm -hmm. So I am really picky when it comes to my beef ribs too. This brisket, 
there's like photos of their huge slabs of brisket. Oh, I know now. It is like really good. <laughs> I just need to go and get more. Like, <laughs> I do feel like I want to save my beef brisket <laughs> so I can eat it later for lunch. <laughs> You know what I really appreciate? Their butter toast there. It's not, um, sometimes people overdo it. Like if you go to like Best Steakhouse, they overdo the butter on the bread where it's just soft. This, the butter level is perfect where everything is crunchy still, but as you're chewing it, the taste of the butter like bursts in their mouth. Whereas other restaurants, they put too much butter on the bread so it's soggy the entire time. <laughs> And it's just grease overload. Ooh, there's a bone. <laughs> I found the bone. The big ones, unless you have really, really strong teeth, don't try to chew it. <laughs> I need to get the pork ribs, man. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, me and my brother, we're, we are obsessed with beef ribs. Beef ribs are very expensive though. I know like um, a Big Daddy is like a slab. Twenty something dollars. I, I can't remember how much exactly, but it's over twenty bucks. And I always thought it was weird, but they just give you slices of white bread. I don't know why. And this is Wonder Bread slices of Wonder Bread. <laughs> There's even the barbecue joint. What is that? Like by near Highway 55 over here in the uptown neighborhood. It's outside of it though. And that place is just okay. My boyfriend took me there and we grabbed food to go and then we went to Minnehaha Falls. We literally have like a fall in the, like a waterfall in the middle of the city here. And we went there to go picnic and eat our barbecue and it wasn't that great. So, <laughs> I don't, we don't go there anymore. I think it's like off of 36th or 38th over here in Minneapolis, South Minneapolis. There were a ton of people who went there though. But now I kind of wonder after having it, is it because it was just the only close barbecue place to the neighborhood?
I totally grabbed too much food. And it's like, I want to eat everything and keep eating it. I'm getting full. <laughs> this is going to be my lunch. And I'm going to make my coworkers jealous. I might share with just one of my coworkers. But I share with her because she always cooks food for me. <laughs> and she makes really good food. And she definitely appreciates super good kind of barbecue joints too. So she would definitely appreciate this. She doesn't like bread, so I'm going to eat her bread. <laughs> She's like, where I eat a lot of carbs, she doesn't eat a lot of carbs at all. Mm -hmm. This is so good. It almost tastes like I'm eating grilled cheese, like a grilled cheese sandwich. I really don't want to share my beef brisket with her. <laughs> but she should know how amazing Firebox Deli is. So she knows me. She knows, like, <laughs> I don't like to share food, you guys. <laughs> We were like talking about how do you show your love to people. She shows her love by cooking for people and sharing food. And it's funny because I show my love by sharing food too. But I seldomly share food. Okay, like, you know, I was raised with manners. So I always offer my food to people. But like people who really know me should know not to accept it, okay? The people who don't really know me, they'll take my food and I'm like, mmm, you know, <laughs> like in my head, I planned, I wanted to eat all of that. So I don't appreciate that you're taking some of my food. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I was the youngest for a long time. I'm very bratty, you guys. <laughs> Like, if I make a lot of food, because I knew in advance I was supposed to share with you, I don't have a problem sharing. But if I only grabbed enough for what I want in my head, I don't like to share. <laughs> That's just the rule. And even if I'm full, but I want to eat it for my leftovers, and it's really seldom I'll ever eat my food as leftovers, but when I do like it that much and I want it as my leftovers, I don't like to share because I'm preparing for my next meal when I'm going to eat it again. <laughs> you should have seen when I got drunk with my girlfriend. I don't think she knew. In, de in her defense, she didn't know how I was about my food. We were drunk and... These boxes I have, you guys, that I eat on top of, I actually have multiple sizes of them. And inside of them, I store ramen. <laughs> and so, we were drinking, we got drunk, and I told her that I had ramen. But I didn't offer her ramen. I just wanted to show her all of the ramen I had. <laughs> so what happened was, I opened up my treasure box of ramen, and she started grabbing my ramen. She was grabbing my ramen and saying that she wanted them. <laughs> you know, I've been drinking. <laughs> so apparently our other girlfriends watched as we wrestled over my ramen. <laughs> because I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I didn't offer you my ramen. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the kinds of ramen I had. 
And I was fine at the end. I was like, you know, like, I'll let you have some. But she kept trying to take all of them. So literally, I ripped my ramen out of her hands. I'm sorry, hon. You know, we were, we were really drunk. And she doesn't realize, she didn't realize that part about me. I'm pretty serious when it comes to my food. Now you guys know another thing about Tessie. Tessie don't like to share food. <laughs> All right, guys. This was amazing. I'm definitely going back. I'll share some with my coworker just so she knows how Firebox Deli tastes, but I'm going to eat the majority of this. <laughs> and thanks for watching, you guys.